Hi there folks, here is a look at your top news stories for May 31st. Well, today the provincial budget was delivered. Here are the highlights. The deficit last year was $1.64 billion. The projected deficit for this year is $826 million. Some other things announced, Nalcor will be restructured. Other crown corporations will be re-evaluated. The English school district will be eliminated and merged into the Department of Education. There will also be an increase of three cents per cigarette and six cents per gram of fine cut tobacco. There will also be an increase of 20 cents a liter on sugar sweetened beverages. In other news today, the province reported two new confirmed cases of COVID-19. That leaves 101 active cases in the province. Two people are in hospital, 146,000. 538 people have been tested so far. In your weather forecast, we have seen a stretch of nice weather. However, that comes to an end tomorrow as some precipitation is expected for most of the province. We were getting married in the most beautiful rural setting. My mom got sick and couldn't be with us for our big day. I was heartbroken. Thankfully, we discovered ExploreNet. They responded right away and connected us to high-speed internet. Our big day was incredible because it felt like mom was there. ExploreNet. Connect to what matters. It was another nice day across Newfoundland and Labrador today. As we head through the forecast, however, or, uh, into tomorrow, we are looking at some unsettled weather. We'll get to that in a moment, but first, the forecast overnight tonight, St. John's, we are looking at cloudy periods, and we will get down to a low of plus 6, uh, a, lo a low of 10 expected in Gander under some mostly cloudy skies, and rain will move into Cornerbrook. We'll see some fog patches as well with about 3 to 5 millimeters expected. The forecast across Newfoundland tomorrow, it is looking quite unsettled for most of the, uh, most of the province, in fact. Uh, we are looking at showers for uh, the majority of Newfoundland. We are going to see some fog uh, for the northern peninsula, west coast and south coast. Uh, we'll see some gusty winds potentially getting up to 60 kilometers per hour in St. John's. And then as we move into Labrador, we are looking at a chance of showers for Happy Valley, Goose Bay and for Labrador City. And a mix of sun and cloud is expected in Maine. Moving along to your five-day forecast, we'll pick up about two millimeters of rain in St. John's tomorrow. The winds will gust to 60. We do clear out and warm up as we head through Wednesday and Thursday, a mix of sun and cloud and 21 degrees. Friday and Saturday, we are looking at a mix of sun and cloud, but there is a chance of showers and a high of 16 and a high of 20. And then as we head into Gander, we'll see uh, about five millimeters of rain for your Tuesday. As we head through Wednesday, there is a, another shower risk and a high of 22. 23 on Thursday with a mix of sun and cloud, and we do have a shower risk Friday and for your Saturday. And then finally for Corner Brook, a bit more unsettled tomorrow with about 5 to 10 millimeters of rain expected. We'll see some lingering fog patches as well. We do clear out for Wednesday, a mix of sun and cloud and 19. Thursday looking at some sunny breaks and a high of 23. And for Friday and Saturday, a bit cooler, and we are looking at a chance of showers for both days. That's a look at your news and your forecast. And now you can check out newfoundnews.ca for more.